Hey guys, it's Mark here from ETF Tracker, and we're going to show you a couple of things that you can do with the new ETF Holdings app. And so we created this because we know it's uh, not that easy to necessarily get all the different data sets together and compare ETFs. There's a lot of, you know, downloading and then spreadsheeting. And if you don't have time for that, or if you maybe, maybe you do, but you just don't want to uh, necessarily do it, we've got something for you. So I'm going to share my screen uh, now. One sec. There we go. Okay. So we've got the ETF tracker, um, page up here. So I've just increased the size. I'm on a wide screen. So hopefully you guys can see that a little bit, uh, a little bit better. Um, but we've got two apps. So there's the ETF analytics. That's the main ETF tracker app that's been out for over a year. Um, and then we've got the ETF holdings. So if you click on the explore ETF holdings, you can also go to that from the, the top menu. So you've got the ETF tracker app, You've got a holdings analysis set of apps. Um, there's a guide for the ETF tracker. And then there's this year in review app that we did at the start of the year. But anyways, um, on the holdings analysis page, we've got these separate uh, menu buttons because uh, we had originally had these separate holdings apps. Okay, and the reason we did that was because we could get the holdings from um, these six providers and we're gonna be adding more. Um, but these six providers, they help us cover about 170 of the 200 plus ETFs that are out in the market in Australia. And so we had them separate because it was hard to do the comparisons, but now we've got this ETF holdings comparisons tool that you can see on the page. And there's two areas of the app. So when you land on it, there's a section where you can compare ETFs and you can also search holdings. Then you've got this table here in the middle, some statistics at the top, and you've got this table, uh, which is the weight of the top 10 holdings. And we'll go through that. Um, but the main thing is if you want to do a comparison of just ETFs, so you've got a couple of ETFs in your portfolio and you want to see how they compare, then um, you use this tab, uh, you use this compare ETFs tab. The other one, we'll go through what you can do there, but it's the reverse kind of search, okay? So for this compare ETFs, if you wanna compare them, we've already filtered here on Equity Australia. And so what that means is that uh, all of the ETFs that you see at the top of the table here, as we scroll across, these are all the ones that are Australian equity listed ETFs that we have in the 170 that we cover. Now we can change that filter. We can go to say, for example, uh, Asian equity ETFs. And you've got these other things on the page here. So these are categories. And if you drop that down, some of the categories they have subcategories. So Australian equity, that's actually split into four different sectors. Okay, um, sorry, four different categories. We've also got these thematics here. So if I just clear everything in the filters, you can clear everything by, as you hover over it, there's a clear or eraser kind of button, but we've got these thematics as well. We've got the six different providers. We've got all of these ETF tickers. So there's 170, as I mentioned, and we've got the fund name. So you can search by that as well. But if we, for example, just go to Asian equity, and let's say that you're interested in um, Asia, uh, the J Japan one, I think it is. Um, yep, so that's the currency hedge Japan one from BetaShares. We can look at these two Indian um, ETFs and maybe uh, this one here, VAE, which is the Asia X Japan from Vanguard. And now that we've selected those five, you can see here on the page that you've now got this ability to scroll up and down and see what's comparable. By default, we basically have um, the, the order of these uh, in the weight that each of these kind of uh, securities are um, for those ETFs. So Infosys, is in um, IIND and it's in NDIA, it's 8% in both. So that total of 16% gives it the higher kind of weighting there. The next one in line is Reliance. Um, and so Reliance is in both of those Indian uh, ETFs. Now, the thing is we do it by ticker first, but we have the drop down because sometimes, not always, sometimes if you're comparing um, a US or a global ETF with an Australian one, some of them have APT in there. And APT we know here in Australia is Afterpay, but in the US it's Alpha Tech Technologies. So you might see that APT is there and you're like, oh, I've got it in this ETF and that one, but just click on the drop down that you see here because it could be um, a, a different ticker. Now, the thing with tickers is that all of the different providers, the six here, 
they have different naming conventions for the tickers. So some of them have a country code after the ticker, some of them don't have that at all. And so it's it's harder to tell, you know, which country it's from. I mean, if you're looking at a US ETF, it's very likely that the tickers, the, the securities, the holdings that are in there, they are from uh, a US based company, but it's not always the case. So um, definitely use this uh, with that grain of salt that you should check in here, but we do include the drop down. So as you can see there, um, Tencent comes up as different names there. So beta shares, which is the Asian ETF, um, they have, uh, they, they have it as Tencent Holdings as the name, but VAE from uh, Vanguard, it is uh, Tencent Holdings in lowercase. So at least what we've done is normalize all of the ticker names so that we just get it down to that. It is 700 or in this case, HDFCB, etc. cetera. So um, the other thing here, this table on, sorry, the, the bar chart on the right-hand side is this is showing you what is the weight of if you just take the top 10 holdings, and this is something that used to be available on Yahoo Finance. I know it's available in some other areas, either they give you the top five or top 10 or whatever it is. Uh, but what we've done is do that with all of the ETFs. So we, we take all of the weights and what we've done is see what is the top 10. So you can, you know, if you've got a larger group, what we can see here from the five that we've selected, Asia is the one that has the most weight attributable to its top 10, okay? So that's what that is there. You don't have to select from the, the groups like we did there. You can select directly from the ETFs here, or you can search within the providers, or you can search from the thematics. These thematics are groups that we've created at ETF Tracker, um, but you can do your own. So one that I often see is uh, what about like Earth and uh, Clean? Are they similar? Um, they're the new kind of, uh, oh, sorry, not uh, Earth and uh, Clean. So let's type that in, not Cloud. Um, so these are the two kind of clean energy climate change uh, ETFs that are out and they're quite similar, um, not in all cases. So in this one here, for example, they've got Enphase Energy, it's 4% in clean, it's only 2% in earth um, and there's some other differences there. Some uh, uh, holdings are in one ETF and not another and vice versa. So Tesla is in earth, but it's not in clean. So you can still see that, you know, both of those side by side, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, comparable uh, holdings there. So, so that's that one. All right, so that's how you can search for your own. I'll just clear the selections here in case we wanna use that again. And the other way around, or actually, you know, you can also do this. You can search from the table that's here, the bar chart that's here. So let's say that you wanna look at some of these um, ETFs that are in that kind of top where, you know, top holdings where the, uh, the top 10 make up a higher kind of weight. So I've just selected some random ones here. Uh, what we find is that if they're in a similar category or if they're following a, same, a similar kind of thematic, then it's more likely they're gonna hold um, the same kind of holdings underneath. But if they're not, then it's very unlikely. And so we haven't chose anything here that has uh, a close kind of relationship there. So you, you can see here a lot of this sparseness in the table, um, a lot of emptiness, that means that it's a little bit more, it, it's a little bit less related, okay? So, so that's something to look at there. If you wanna clear that, you can just click anywhere outside of that bar chart to clear it. But I hold down the control button to um, make that kind of selection. So Power BI, which we use is really cool because it's interactive. You can do the filters or you can click on the tables uh, and charts and that can also change things too, okay? So the next one is searching holdings. And this one's interesting because if you have particular holdings that you're interested in, you might know the tickers. So like CBA, which is um, which is C, uh, Commonwealth Bank. And maybe you're interested in, what's another one we talked about, Afterpay. So if we click on Afterpay or APT here, as I mentioned, um, oops, it is not letting me, oh, there we go. Okay, so just going funny there. You can see here that it's also including Alpha Pro Tech. And so what we wanna do is just click on the names that we're actually interested in. And now you see some of these things sometimes. So CBA will come up with um, something where there's like a number in the security name. And the reason for that is that there's corporate bonds in here as well. But if we just click out of that, you can see here down the side, all of the different ETFs. So in this case, we've flipped it. So in this one, the holdings are at the top and it's the tickers down the, the side, down the left-hand side. And if you wanna see what those are, you can click and expand and see what those tickers are. 
So we do it by ticker first and then the ETF name. The reason for that is it just looks neater in a table and it's more compressed. But if you want to see what these ETFs are, so you're like, okay, great. So ATEC, what's that? If I click on that, I can see it's the Australian Technology ETF. If I want to see what GEAR is, I can see it's the Australian Equity, uh, so GEARD, Australian Equity Hedge Fund. Okay. SFY, we can click on that. It's the Spider ASX uh, 50. Okay. The top 50. So this is something you can do as well. One thing that you, uh, I've often found um, is quite useful is you might be looking at a certain set of ETFs. So let's say, for example, you might be interested in ACDC, okay? We can see in ACDC that the top holdings there is 1211. So that is BYD, it's PLS, it's Pilbara Minerals, it's LTHM, um, thought it might be Lithium, but it's not, it's Livent Corp. So Livent Corp, LTHM. So what I can do is if I'm interested in what other ETFs that one is in, so if we just clear the selections that we had here, so we'll clear this one, we'll clear this. We said it was LTHM. Oops, make sure we type that right. So LTHM, and we can see it's Livent Corp. So there's no other um, common ticker names there for that one, no other security holding names there. So it's just the one. So what we can see is it's an ACDC, it's an IJR. So IJR is the iShares small cap ETF. It's in VISM, which is the Miski International Small Companies ETF, and it's in VTS, so which is the US Total Market Shares Index ETF, and you can see their weightings here. So you can use both of these tables to either just compare the holdings, um, search for particular holdings and which ETFs they're exposed to, or you might see that there's an ETF that you're interested in. You see the holdings there. Now you want to look in the, um, you want to search for those holdings and see what their exposure is across other ETFs. You can do that third way. So we've got those three ways that are there and we've still got the uh, the other ETF holdings analysis tools here as well. So you can either scroll down or you can use that menu at the top, as I said here, to go directly to that kind of, uh, to that app. And so that's the holdings. We've still got the other, the main ETF tracker app, as you can see here. Um, so this is the one where we get the monthly, monthly statistics from the ASX and you can explore that. What we find is that people will often see, okay, these are the ETFs they're interested in. We spoke about ACDC. They go to this snapshot page um, at the bottom uh, left. So you use the menu, it's the last option on the menu. And you can just simply click from the, the drop down selection there for ACDC, or you can search, or you can just scroll down and uh, see which one you're interested in. You get these six charts here and you can do some more analysis. Some of them expand to uh, more detail like this one here and you can go back. So that was more about price performance, um, but we've also got these other sections in here as well. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoy and thanks very much for your time.